Hi everyone, it's Ron here at Simod Lens. Today I'm going to walk you through the installation process on how to convert your Canon NFD lenses to LPL using our LPL NFD conversion system. Here we have two lenses. One that's already been converted to EF using the Simod Edmica conversion kit and one that has not been converted at all. So we'll do both processes as a demonstration. We'll start with the one that's not been modded yet. So first off, we have to remove these three screws that are holding the outer locking ring. It's important to remember that the conversion process for LPL is very much similar to that of the EF. The only thing that's different is the LPL mount itself. But the process of installing the mount and conversion is very much the same. So once those three screws are removed, you'll need a set of tweezers just to prop this up and this outer ring or this silver ring will just come off and you can put that aside. Once that comes off, this whole entire portion here comes off. Once that is off, it will you, you'll notice that there are four screws that are holding this plate into place. So we will need to remove these four screws and set them aside. You do not want to lose these screws because we will need to reuse them. You will need a GIS screwdriver to properly remove the screws, as you can see here, this one in particular has a lot of, um, I can't focus it, has a lot of adhesive and glue from the factory that held it in place. So it did give me a little bit of an issue there. But with the proper screwdriver and applying the right amount of force, downward and even force, you should be able to remove it. Once those screws are removed, simply lift that off. It's important to remember that there is a silver ring here and that comes off as well. Once those parts are removed, simply unlock the aperture ring and it'll click once it comes loose and that just comes off. You may want to keep all these parts in the bag in case you ever want to reverse the process. Once all those parts are removed, you'll expose the aperture uh, layer here of, of the lens. And usually you could clean this, this whole portion up and remove all the excess grease and old debris. But for the sake of demonstration, we will uh, skip that process. When you order the conversion kit, you will receive the DCG, the dampened controlled aperture gear itself, and also the NFD LPL mount. First, we will install the DCG. Installing the DCG aperture control is very much the same as installing the DCG aperture control for EF conversion. It's exactly the same DCG for EF and LPL. So aligning this pin here, to go inside the, these two goal posts. Again, it's this pin to go into the goal post. So as you see there, I've missed the goal post. Once it's aligned, you can test it to make sure that you have full aperture control. From here on, you can open up the 
NFD LPL kit that comes with the package. The NFD version does come with shims. If you need them to calibrate infinity focus. And then the LPL mount itself comes like so. You will have to unscrew the LPL tube to reveal the holes that you need to align on the lens. So once you unscrew that, you simply align the four holes to the four holes that are on the lens. And that just gets slid right on. Going back to the screws that we removed earlier, we will need to reuse them. And you basically screw the LPL mount onto the lens using this exact same screws that you removed earlier. We designed these mounts to go slightly past infinity. So you will have to dial it back a little bit. And in order to do that, you simply use the shims that we provide you. Screw the LPL tube back on. And there you have it, a fully converted NFD to LPL. For this version here, we have an NFD lens that's already been converted to EF, but let's say you want to convert it now to LPL. The process is very simple. You basically remove the four screws that are holding the EF mount onto the lens. Setting the screws aside because you will have to reuse the exact same screws. There are some lenses that actually come with only three screws instead of four. Um, and basically that's dependent on the lens and the time when it was made. Put the EF mount aside and just open up the LPL conversion kit. Again, it comes with shims and the LPL mount. You will need to remove the tube. So let's say you need to shim this lens using the shims that we provide. The shims basically go in this pattern here. You basically align the holes in that instance there and install the LPL mount right on top. And using the screws that you removed earlier, you simply reinstall the screws. Screw on the LPL tube. And now you've got a converted Canon FD lens to LPL.